three months ago, my lobster got pregnant with 300 babies. And I was pretty shocked to see this, so I moved her into my nice planted tank, and that's when she had all of these babies. Now, she had 300 different crayfish babies. They were all different colored, different attitudes, and they definitely grew at different rates. See, these lobsters basically had an empire of their own. The Rome of lobsters, you could say. These brothers and sisters ate, and they feasted every day. And they began to grow bigger and bigger, stronger and stronger, into the strongest crayfish army of all time. There was just one problem, and its name was nitrates. See, with this many lobsters eating and pooping 24-7 in this tank, I could not control the nitrates. And that's why last week, I set up the world's greatest crayfish hatchery. Yes, I got a 60 gallon tank and I released all of my lobsters into there. They absolutely love their new tank. And these guys are growing even faster now. I swear a, a lobster's molting like every other day. And look at this one right here. He's an absolute freak of nature at two and a half months old. This crayfish should not be so big, but he is. And the craziest part is that he's not even the biggest crayfish in this tank. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna have episode three right now. I got my tank right here. It's my 60 gallon crayfish tank and I got some updates for you guys. So let's get into this new video. Okay guys, so in this tank right here, it's super dirty, but I think I've seen a lobster in here that we didn't get out. Uh, during parts one and two, we got a lot of lobsters out of here, but I think there's some more. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can um, catch this lobster over here. All right, let's see. Let's see if what we can get, guys. Nothing in the first pull. Nothing in the first. Let's see if we can catch something though. It's really, really dirty. Try to get a good angle. If I'm able to catch one of these crayfish, it would be awesome to put them in the new tank see just dirt guys just dirt I'll see where he is yeah I feel like there's something in here Ash you said you saw something oh, oh guys oh my god on a whim we just caught this crayfish I told you guys there were some pretty red ones in here and it looks oh. like this one has this one has a red and a white claw. That's insane, I've never seen that. Yeah, that is insane, guys. Look at this crayfish. He has a red and a white claw. I mean, that's what you get when you mix, when you interbreed colors. You get a mixed crayfish, and I guess we got one like that. This is like a one in a million crayfish, guys. You gotta understand, you gotta understand how crazy this is. It is so rare to even get a super fire red one like this. I only have maybe two or three of these in my whole batch. This crayfish has literally a white and a red claw. It is freaking beautiful, guys. Look at it in the tank. We're gonna let him go now. See how much he likes his new home. Take a look at this crayfish. Guys, this is a one in a million crayfish. This is extremely rare. You don't just get these. You know, this is crazy. I am so happy we got this new addition to the tank. So let's watch him enter. Oh, there's a crayfish right there. I don't want to put him on top. We'll put him, uh, we'll put him right here. We'll let him go free in this tank now. All right, guys, he's going free. And look at that, guys. We got a crayfish molt. Look at that. So the crayfish, they shed their exoskeleton, and this is one of those exoskeletons right there. And someone will eat that, because they eat their own exoskeletons. And remember when I said this was not the biggest lobster in the tank? Well, I wasn't lying, because this is the biggest lobster in the tank. His name is the Leviathan, he's the tank boss, he rules everything in this tank, and he will eat slash destroy anything he wants to. 
You guys gotta remember that there are still some way smaller crayfish in this tank right now. Not all of them are even close to his size. We have baby guppies living alongside them and everyone seems to be living fine, living happy because they got a lot more space now and I'm feeding them a ton of food but this tank is able to keep the nitrates down so far and that's a good sign. We're gonna add some new fish to the tank now and I wanna see if any of you guys can guess what type of Placostomus this is. And in the other bag, we got some guppies and they are acclimating. So we're gonna go ahead and add those all into the tank. Right now, our new guppies are meeting the old guppies and this is my favorite time. I love adding new fish into the tank. So let's just kick back and enjoy this footage. And these three baby fish are with their mom. They're all a part of the first lineage that we had breed in our original tank. And they are meeting all of our new guppies right now. Here you can see some of the new males. They're looking for some play, checking around, seeing what the females are doing. And don't forget about our Placostomus. He's right here. I love him so much. I'm gonna name him Dan. Uh, just because I feel like he looks like one and I'm hoping that I can grow this guy out to maybe a foot long I know that sounds giant, but these Placostomus they can get huge and they look so cool once they become a giant catfish I'm adding six ghost shrimp into the tank one male five females But the females are already stacked with eggs So we're gonna let them give birth in this tank and hopefully we'll have some baby shrimp this crayfish basically came out purple and I've never bred a purple crayfish before. I didn't even realize that the red mom and the orange dad could even produce a color like this, but guys, they did. And this is one of the coolest lobsters we have in our tank. We added some new decorations into the tank as well. One of them is this Finn City. I really like it and the fish seem to really like it as well. And then we also got SpongeBob's house right here and we got our anchor, our diver's helmet and the cave with the skulls that I've had in the last video. This crawfish literally had a broken back. You can tell that his spine just got severed by something and I hope it's no broke back mountain activities going on in this tank. So these crayfish are now three months old. I've had this tank running for about three weeks now and everyone is doing super well. The new main hatchery was definitely a big upgrade from the old one guys. And I hope everyone enjoyed this series cause it was really fun to make. And I'm gonna keep updating you guys about my lobsters. Sometimes the tank can get hectic, but for the most part, everyone is living in peace. And since I'm crazy, I thought, let's add a few more long tail guppies to end the video. So here they are. Look at these guys. They're freaking beautiful. And I will catch you guys in the next video.